imagine, imagine you're building an app where you can log your expenses and you can synchronize these expenses with a backend. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have a expense list view controller, just to show a list of expenses. You can load these expenses from a backend API. So you have an expense service, for example, that will load expenses from an API and that will return a bunch of expenses. This domain model here that represents an expense and the operations you can perform on an expense, like changing a currency or changing the date, changing a name, right. change the description and so on. And the domain model will encapsulate all the business rules around expense. It will enforce the invariance, enforce the evolution of the state of this expense. Fantastic. And in a small application, if we have only two screens and that's it, you're working alone, that's very simple to do. Yeah. You have a list view controller that will talk to a service, get this from an API, get a list of expenses and show in a table view, for example. Mm -hmm. Every cell represents one expense in the list. And then if you select a cell, you can literally inside the callback in the table view controller, did select row at index path, you can create your detail view controller and pass the domain expense to it and present it or push it in the navigation stack. Exactly. Very simple. So in a simple application, that's fine. That's easy. Everything is very concrete, tiny application. You just access the domain directly. So the UI will talk to the domain models directly. Now, is there a problem with talking to the domain directly? If the UI talks directly with the domain, what is the problem? Because like, you read books and they say, oh, the UI shouldn't talk directly to the domain. There should be a presentation layer in the middle. Like why? Mm -hmm. So this works fine in small applications. We have only two screens. Yeah. But the problem is that every time there's a new requirement in the UI, oh, I need to present some more data here, or I need to format a date to a specific format, like a medium size format or long date format. We need to move this logic either in the view controller or we put this logic in the domain model. Yeah. And then we couple the domain model with a user interface requirement. Exactly. Whatever the UI needs. Exactly. Yes. And then you can only use these domain models with a specific UI. Yes. Or you're going to have a bunch of redundant methods in this model. Yes. If you're using it across applications. Yes. You're going to have to pass flags as well, you know, yes. check which application you're using and all that. Or even let's say you want a, a long format on iPad because the screen is bigger and a short format is string formatting in the iPhone. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? There will be an if statement there in your model, if iPad, if uh, if iOS, if iPhone, and two different logics. So you start moving all this logic either to the domain or to the view controller. And you also don't want the view controller doing this transformation, this formatting. Because the view controller is already has many responsibilities. It needs to manage the view's life cycle. Mm -hmm. So ideally, you don't want this logic in there. So you need a, another component in between the controllers, the views, and the domain. You also don't want the views talking directly to the domain. Otherwise, you have the same problem. Every time there's a new UI requirement, you might have to add it to the domain. And how do we solve this problem? Usually, we create a component in between the view controller and the domain. And it's usually a view model, an expense list view model. So one view model per item. Exactly. Giving to the view exactly the data that needs. Absolutely. So now all the formatting logic stays in the view model, not in the controller, like this. So the controller doesn't talk directly to the domain anymore. The view model will bridge this communication. So every time there's a new UI requirement, it goes in the view model, not in the controller, not in the view, and not in the domain. And then each view can have its own view model. Let me call this view model. Yeah. The same for the detail. The detail view controller that needs to show the detail for all the expenses. You need to do a bunch of formatting because an expense may have a decimal for the amount, but you want to show to the user a string, formatted string with the currency code even. All right. So you need to transform that decimal into something that is user friendly, mm -hmm. human readable. You can do the same and create a view model. This way you decouple the domain from UI needs. So here you have an expense detail view model and we can now move all the formatting presentation logic to this component. This way the domain will never depend on UI 
requirements.